And I did something I said I wasn't gonna do. I drove out of the way to get some Mountain Dew pitch black, fresh in the bottle, stupid selfie thumbnail with it. Um, it's slowly working its way through North Carolina. It's supposed to be everywhere by the 16th. Um, and the lesson I've learned from this, first off, pitch black, it's a grape flavored, well, okay, sorry, now it says it's officially a blast of dark citrus punch. Fair enough, it's like a grape flavored Mountain Dew. Full calorie, this whole bottle's 280. Yummy sugar, yay, okay? Um, and they've redesigned it for this here. Look at the look at the logo, it's totally different. Um, I guess to go with its new citrus punch theme. I've learned to just not listen to people with Mountain Dew, is what I really have to do. Let's start, let's, let's go back. Let's give you a little story time so I'm not just drinking a soda and saying, yum, it's good. Um, let's try and say, yum, it's good, right? There's the smell, same stuff. Same flavor, God, that's good. Quick other story time, this is like, realistically, this is my favorite Mountain Dew. And this was my first big favorite soda as a fat young soda drinking nerd. Back when Pepsi Blue got discontinued, there was a hole in my heart that was filled with Pitch Black. And then the following year, Pitch Black too. And then Pitch Black when they brought that again, brought that back. Um, that was back in the mid 2000s. I think 2004 is when this was first out maybe. I don't know. And then there was Pitch Black 2, which was a sour version of this. And then there was the Darth Dew Slurpee, which was Pitch Black 2. I don't know, I think I had that. Um, Pitch Black 2 was good. I don't know why they won't, just once, just bring it back once, I guess. You bring back Pitch Black. Otherwise, I wouldn't say bring it back, but um, yeah, so just listening to people, right? First off, they took away the brominated vegetable oil that used to be in all the sodas because it's bad for you. It'll actually build up and give you brain defects. Um, so that's gone. There's someone in the, I follow this Do Drinkers Discord, right? And that's where you can get all the news. And there's a lot of great people there, yada, yada. But there's one, one of these kids is going like, yeah, no, I can taste the difference without the, the BVO in it. I have sensitive taste buds. Yeah, blow me, dude. Sure you do. Some of these kids are off their fucking rockers. Um, I'm trying to swear less on YouTube. Today's not the fucking day, clearly. Um, <laughs> anyways. Anyways, sorry. Oh, very sorry. I, I, I won't swear less in my Mountain Dew video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They like they're gonna send me something. I won't swear in that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, another one of these. You go to the wiki and it says the Southern Shock is identical to Solar Flare. Well, that's a load of crap. I never really sought it out because it said it was identical. I don't know the person who wrote that must have never actually tried it because they're definitely not. So I went on there. And I'm like, guys, who's in charge of this thing? Can you fix this. This is not true. They were like, it really says that? Really? Yeah, no, they're not the same. Yeah, duh. And then I got the Pepsi rep commenting in my comments. Probably watching this. Thanks. I appreciate you. But he's like, yeah, no, no, it's not supposed to. It's not going to be here until the 16th. The hell it's not. The point is when they put that release date, clearly the local, all the bottling companies clearly were behind on Mountain Dew Pitch Black and it wasn't going to be out for like January 1st, 2nd, whatever. So they bumped the date back. And what that means is it will be everywhere by the 16th. You, you can't just say snap and then the soda just appears at all the stores. The dudes driving the big Pepsi trucks have to go around. They have to drop the sodas off. They have to put them in the stores. And then the other thing is all these kids on the Dew Drinker thing are like, yeah, the, the soda finder, the Dew locator, it's inaccurate. It's totally wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Don't trust that thing. Bullshit. It's been right every time I've ever used it. The only reason it might say somewhere has one of these sodas and it doesn't, A, because they haven't put the product out yet, if you're at some tiny store or something, I don't know, or B, you nut jobs go and buy it all up. I saw one kid saying he's buying 20 12 packs and stuff. He goes, don't blame me. You know, you're still going to be able to get Mountain Dew even if I go to the store and buy 20, 20 of these 12 packs. Yeah, sure, but not from that store. Someone else might be excited for it. They go to the store. Oh, no, they're all gone. Some other asshole bought them all. Yeah, some kid trying to freaking speed run diabetes and heart failure and bought 20 12 packs of pitch black. Fucking nuts. I swear to God. <sighs> this is delicious, though. This is my lunch. Um, 
Oh, that's good. I blew my whole lunch coming to get this. I'm not going to get anything on the way back. There's a Burger King. I could go get one of those chicken sandwiches. They're so crappy, but I love the cheesy one. It was so good. It was so cheesy and spicy and crunchy. Still crappy, but good. That good crappy. You know, that good fast food crap where you go, this thing is so cheap and shitty, but man, is it delicious. That's what the spicy queso chicken sandwich at that Burger King was. Um, I'm tempted to go get it. I don't know. It's my kind of cheap, crappy sandwich. Maybe it's not yours, but... And this is my kind of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew pitch black. I'm willing to burn the sugar on this one because it's so good. And I honestly have no idea if and when we're getting the zero sugar one. This, all the stores that have this west of me, they all only have the sugar one. They don't have the zero sugar. They don't have the energy. Those must be coming slightly after. It must be, I don't know. I don't know. But stay tuned. We'll have the zero sugar one. We'll have the energy. And hopefully the zero sugar one's amazing because I'm going to be one of these little asshole kids that buys 2012 packs. I'm just going to stock up on that because this is only around until the end of February or until you're sold out, really. And then it's gone. So get it while you can. And don't buy too much. Honestly, it gets old. It does get old. Uh, it was permanent once. And I bought like one 12 pack. I was like, yep, that was good. I don't need more of this. So I got a few bottles here. That's probably all the sugar one I'm going to buy. And then that's it. So Mountain Dew Pitch Black. It's back. You know, get at it. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.